Ladies and gentlemen, I am the host of the Hypnotic Experience and author, Nicholas. And tonight, we find ourselves with another Past Lives series, this time in London. Our two kindred spirits, Gabriel and Genevieve, with a deep love of history, found themselves in London on a crisp autumn morning. As they stroll through the bustling streets, they were struck by an enchanting blend of ancient architecture and modern life. The city seemed to whisper tales of centuries past, waiting to be discovered. Their adventure began at the British Museum, but this time something felt different. As they glazed upon the Rosetta Stone, a symbol of human curiosity and determination, they sensed a presence a ethereal being that watched over them. It was like the soul center, a guardian of history and the keeper of ancient wisdom. Gabriel, an inspiring archeologist, felt a surge of inspiration as if the soul center was guiding his understanding of the stone's significance. Genevieve, an artist with a passion for capturing history's beauty, sketched this stone with a dreamy, twinkling eye, feeling the presence of the soul center infuse her artwork with a sense of timelessness. Next, they ventured to the Tower of London, where they embarked on a guided tour. The tales of kings, queens, and legendary figures came to life as they explored the grandeur of the castle. Gabriel imagined himself as a medieval knight Genevieve envisioned herself as a gracious lady of the court. As they ascended the tower, they felt the soul center's energy connecting them to the spirits of those who had lived and loved within these walls. The soul center whispered stories of enduring love and courage, reminding them that history was not just a collection of facts, but a tapestry of human experiences. Their journey led them to Westminster Abbey, a breathtaking sanctuary of history and faith. Gabriel and Genevieve took a moment to light a candle and make a wish for their future together. Feeling the soul center's presence and the flickering flame, it was a reminder of the timeless love that bound them and the countless couples who had sought solstice and blessings in this sacred space. As they gazed at the intricate stained glass windows and the tombs of poets and monarchs, they couldn't help but feel that their love was a story that was intertwined with the centuries of love and faith that had filled this sacred space. One evening, they found themselves at a Shakespearean Globe Theater where they had watched a mesmerizing performance of Romeo and Juliet. As they held hands, in a dimly lit theater. The tragic love story of the star-crossed lovers resonated deeply within them, and they sensed the soul center's presence and the passionate performance on stage. After the performance, they strolled along the south bank of the river, sharing their own dreams and aspirations beneath the moonlit sky, feeling the soul center's gentle guidance in their hearts. Their London adventure reached a climax with a visit to the historic Greenwich Observatory. Standing on the prime meridian, they felt a profound connection to time itself. Guided by the Soul Center's wisdom, Gabriel and Genevieve shared their dreams, promising to explore the world and make timeless memories together. They talked about the constellations and how the stars had guided them, just as explorers and lovers throughout history. They made a pact to always find their way back to each other, no matter where their adventures took them, trusting in the Soul Center's guidance. In the heart of London, under the twinkling stars, Gabriel and Genevieve discovered that their love truly was timeless, just as timeless as the city's rich history. Their adventure was not only about exploring the past, but also forging a future filled with dreams, 
love, and an unbreakable bond that transcended time and place. Guided by the loving presence of the soul center and being of the spirit who watched over them, as they stood together looking out over the city, they knew that their story was a part of London's history now, a small but meaningful chapter in the grand tapestry of the universe. Ladies and gentlemen, I am the author and host, Nicholas. Thank you for listening, thank you for commenting, and thank you for your support.